Welcome to the V Bulletin training video on how to manage spam with question and answer verification. Question and answer human verification is the strongest anti spam measure in V Bulletin. When configured correctly and used well, it can almost completely stop automated spammers. Rather than be reactive with spam, we're going to show you how to combat it at its source. If you stop the spam registrations, you can help to stop spam cold in its track. To do this, we're going to have to log in to the Administrator Control Panel. While logged in, under an Administrative Account, click on the Admin CP link either at the top of the forum or at the Admin link on the bottom of each page. Now that we're logged in, we're going to expand the Settings tab and then click on the Human Verification Manager. The default setting is Image Verification, but we want to add something a lot stronger and easier for our end users, so we'll choose Question and Answer and Save. On the new page, you'll be shown that you have no questions, and you should add one, so click on the Add New Question. Here you can add your question. Unless you're an advanced user, do not add anything into the regular expression fields. Here we'll be adding our first question. What programming language does vBulletin use? As you can see, we are going to leave this box blank. Now click Save. We'll need to add answers after we've added our first question. So from here, we can now add new answers. Let's add one by clicking on Add New Answer. We'll type PHP into the box. Answers are case insensitive, so you don't have to worry about matching the case. Just in case someone wants to give a more complete answer, we're going to add one more. So click on Add New Answer. Here we'll type PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. Once we have typed our answer, we'll save again. If we want to add more questions, we can click on Human Verification Manager under Settings, as we did before. Again, we should repeat this process until we have completed between 5 and 10 questions. More is better when it comes to Q&A verification. The user only ever sees one single question at a time. However, if they get it wrong, a new question is presented. The more questions, the harder it is for spammers to get through. It is highly important that your questions match your targeted user-based knowledge. A car website, for example, might ask questions about specific makes and models. It should be something the user knows and or is willing to learn about. The less common, the more likely you are to keep spammers out. With that said and done, you should now be good to go. Thank you for choosing vBulletin 5 Connect. For more information, please visit our website.